Hi everybody, it's Chris at Tipton Hearst and it's time for a little bit of happy again today. So what I thought we'd try to do is to do something a little bit different in the fact that, you know, in the flower business, we always have all these stems left. I'll show you all these rose stems. So I've always thought we should have something to do with them. And there's several things you can actually do with them. You can make stacks out of them. You can use them for linear material. Today we're actually gonna make them into a wreath. So I wanna make a crown of thorns wreath for Easter. So what we're gonna start out with is I'm gonna actually take a piece of, now this is artificial vine. It's plastic actually, but you can use a piece of grapevine as well. This is just what I found in the back and I'm lazy and didn't wanna keep looking for something else. And so we're gonna wrap that around that. And that's gonna be our base, just like that. Now we're gonna go back and take a little bit of this honeysuckle vine, Asian honeysuckle, and this comes from Canute Nelson. We're gonna put that there. Now we're gonna go back and take another piece, so that one's caught, and put this on top of that one. So, that's gonna be our base there. Now we'll take some of our bark wire, which someone asked the other day what this is. This is actually wire that's been wrapped with twine. I said paper, but it's actually twine. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna catch it like this. And you're gonna not, not real tight. We're just gonna wrap it through, maybe through here. And this is gonna hold it in place for us. We do this, we wrap that up like that. There we go. Work smarter, not harder. There, into that. Then we'll double wrap it like this to catch it. And I will cut that off. And we'll just touch like that. It's really not, the catch on this is not that important because by the time we get through, it won't really matter. So there's our wreath that we just made. So now we're gonna go back and take our row stems that are extra. We're gonna take all the foliage off of them. Like that. Because we always have these left over, especially after funeral work, we're making like, you know, wreaths or crosses or whatever. You always have this left. So what I thought, what a better way to take these thorny stems, which some of these don't have thorns like they used to. The old varieties used to be full of thorns, especially the, the rose stems out of the garden have a lot of thorns. Of course, you know where the thorn comes from on a rose. Supposedly that in the Garden of Eden, after Adam and Eve committed the first original sin, God went back and put thorns on the rose to remind us of the original sin. So it always pricks, it looks beautiful, but until you touch it, and then it pricks you, reminds you of the original sin. So that's where that came from, supposedly. So now we're gonna go back and take our rose stems. We're just gonna cut them in half. the brown ones. And actually these will turn brown the more they dry out. But some varieties the stems are darker than others. Some have more thorns than others for sure. So I think that'll be enough. Let me get rid of that. Boop. So how's everybody doing today? Sun's beautiful. It's about 70 degrees in Little Rock. It's gorgeous outside. It's hard to believe that all this is going on with such a beautiful day, but it is. So, we're just trying to take it one day at a time. So, so what I'm doing is I'm actually inserting these all the way around like that. And I'm using the honeysuckle to catch that. Now, if you were really OCD, you would probably want to go back and glue it or wire it together. But for time's sake, I don't think y'all want to sit here and watch me do 10,000 wire pieces of wire or work with a glue gun. So I'm just gonna quickly insert these around. So what you wanna do is have some of the pieces for sure that have more thorns. To mimic the crown of thorns that Jesus wore when he was crucified. I remember as a child growing up and in McCrory, we always had community services on Good Friday. And for some reason, 
It was like one of the saddest days for me because I always thought about the pain and the suffering that Jesus went through. So, Good Friday. I never understood why they called it Good Friday other than the fact that it was good because he saved us from everything. So, so we keep putting those in there. Quick and easy. No right or wrong. Come on through, Barbara. We got a customer thing out front, so we're gonna walk go walk around that way. Probably be easier. Okay. Okay. Yes, get even some longer pieces because you can always go back and cut them off. Anybody have any questions? No questions. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or if that's a bad thing. That might be a bad thing. No questions. But I was always, I'm kind of excited that finally, it always kills me to throw these stems away. I hate to waste anything. So I've always thought, you know, there's gotta be something we can do. You know, a lot of times you can actually make like stacks with these, like do, do it in a vase and then bind these and then put flowers down in them like a little frog to hold things up. I mean, to make it like this little topiary. But this really is more, a little bit more designy. So. And we all know floors, we've got tons of these left at the end of the day. Especially if you're doing a lot of pave work, you'll definitely always have row stems left. Someone said they missed the start. What kind of stems are you using? These are row stems. So, thorns. Trying to make thorns so it's a crown of thorns. close to this part of it. And these will actually, like I said, they'll dry. They're gonna probably turn the same color as the base of the, of the curly willow, and also the same color as the, as the honeysuckle. Now if I was using stems from the garden, I wouldn't be going near as fast because they've got a lot more thorns on them for sure. Matter of fact, 10 years ago, I couldn't have done it this fast because through the hybridization, look at that word, they a lot of the varieties now long, no longer have the amount of thorns that they used to. Nausea said, hello, I'm new at watching your videos. Oh, welcome. Glad you're with us. And if anybody has any suggestions, we'd love to hear them. Because the more you talk, the less I have to. So. so, I think that's a pretty good representation around the whole wreath as far as trying to mimic thorns. there. So now we're going to go back because this is kind of dark and gloomy to me and we're going to go back and add Lily the Valley. So supposedly Lily the Valley was actually formed as Mary was at the base of, of the crucifixion and he said it's, when Jesus said it's finished and she wept. These are supposedly the tears of, of Mary is the Lily the Valley. You also see that done a lot, used for a lot, uh, representing purity in, in wedding work. So it's kind of become the wedding flower, but originally it was supposed to be to represent Mary during the, cru the resurrection and crucifixion. Well, it means resurrection too, new birth. As her tears went down, the 
flower came up. Someone asked if you could buy these rose stems from a florist. Sure you can. Would love to sell your rose stem <laughs> from the florist because for a lot of us, this actually goes into uh, the garbage can, unfortunately, or or compost or uh, decom decomposition, or for those that um, repurpose stuff. So I'm just going through. These are artificial, of course. And once again, you always want to make sure when you're doing this to keep it going in the same circular motion. The stems have already broken the line up a little bit for you. So you don't really have to worry about those, those giving you that undone or crisscross look to it. And now you go back and add the lily of the valley. Give you a little bit of, a little bit of softness. Sorry, I should have cut these before I started. So. This one does not want to come in done very well. When's the last day to get Easter baskets shipped? Um, I think that's going to depend on the shipping people. I would suggest that you have them to us by what, Tuesday, maybe? Probably the latest. As far as not having to pay an extra charge, I mean, express charge or anything, but yeah. Love to make Easter baskets. We've got a ton of really fun stuff for Easter baskets. And we love to take care of you. And if you live in town, we actually can go online and pick them out and look at it. We've itemized everything on there. You just add them to your cart and then we will package it, box it all up or actually make the basket for you if you want us to. And you can either have it delivered in town for free or you might pick it up. Curbside, no contact. I'll add one more to this and show you what this looks like. I'll always get the one that's glued to the tag. So, there's our Lily of the Valley. You can always add more or less. Got a wild one there, stick that back in. So, to finish this off, I'm just going to do a really simple tie. And I'm going to take it off to the side. I'm just going to use a really plain, not a plain, but just a beautiful double faced satin white. Because at Easter, we talked yesterday about purple being the color during Lent, and, and white, of course, is the color of Easter. You have good scissors for a ribbon today. Yeah, right. Well, they ain't that good, but the better they were. So, anyway, simple loop. And you definitely don't want this to be a very set bow. You just want it to be like a, what I almost call a simple debutante kind of feel to it. That's a southern term. Anyway. Gnaw that ribbon again there. And put that right there. Pull that up. Think about double face satin, it's kind of slick, a little slippery. Push that in. And I'll hold this up. We'll ignore the fact that the ribbon has got needs to be recut. We could be here all day doing that. That ain't the best bow I've ever made, but it is what it is at this point. So there you go. So that's our crown of thorns Easter wreath. So I hope you had a little bit of happy today. Um, it always makes me happy because I get to go to some place that makes me happy when I make stuff. So anyway, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow and thanks for watching.